Hi there, my name is Chrissy. I'm a life skills and deployment educator at Fleet and Family Support Center in San Diego. I'm coming today to you in several small segments to talk to you a little bit about stress and resilience. These videos are meant to be used in conjunction with the global pandemic we've all been experiencing and working through with regards to COVID-19 and the coronavirus. I'm coming to you from my home office. I'm at home with my three children. Those of you who might know me know I'm a spouse. So I have, I'm married to an active duty service member who's needed at work. So I'm trying to balance life, home, homeschooling, um, handling all the responsibilities at home. I think all of us in this situation are going to learn quite a bit about stress resilience and we're going to come out of this a lot stronger. I'm here to just provide some concepts from this class. We normally take an hour, but I'm gonna put it into some minor micro um, courses that you could add all together at once. So I just printed off some slides here for you. These are some pictures of me doing um, my favorite part of my job, which is going on return and reunions. These three are taken from the Lincoln, and this one is from the Essex. Um, so this is my name, this is what I do. This phone number is not current right now, but the email address is good. So if you have any other questions, feel free to email me. I check my email several times a day. Um, I'm happy to provide you with any questions you might have. So one of the ways that I typically like to start classes by saying, is stress good or bad? And one of the things that I find is that most people, when there's been several um, rounds of answers, will generally say, oh, it's a little bit of both. Like for example, um, the stress that, stress so basically means putting something under duress. And when you put something under duress, it can either break or it can come back stronger. So for example, one of the uh, analogies we use is uh, a diamond. So this is a diamond right here. Um, a diamond is made when it's put under pressure. That's a rock that's put under pressure and it comes out into something beautiful. You could also say the same for pearls. Pearl is a um, basically debris in an oyster's mouth that becomes a pearl. And the other example that people will say is like, for example, if I work out, if I work out, I'm stressing a muscle, that muscle will then break down but come back stronger. But we want to also say that stress is also has some negative effects on our life. And how do you know if the stress you're experiencing will be good to where I make a diamond or come back stronger, be a more resilient person, or where is it so much that I can't continue and I become to deteriorate as a human being? I have a chart here for you to kind of show what happens when we are experiencing stress. So this blue one here would be like someone that's kind of experiencing a normal amount of stress, but they have good coping mechanisms. They have low stress symptoms. The stressor is the same. So a stressor would be like traffic or a sick loved one or financial issues, relationship problems. The stressor is the same for these types of people. So this is someone who experiences a stressor experiences some stress symptoms. Stress symptoms would be like increased heart rate, trouble sleeping, um, some of the other ones that you might not think of are like memory loss or just being generally very cynical. Um, one of the ones that I have is uh, tightness in my shoulders or in my jaw. I have that with stress and then sometimes I'll, it'll be uh, so bad that I'll eventually have mood changes as well. That's just something to be aware of. So I have some stress, um, I have some stress symptoms, but I'm recovering. This red line here is showing someone that has the same stressor as everyone else, but their stress symptoms just chart up so much higher. Aren't we all tired of seeing these charts, by the way? <laughs> this isn't a COVID-19 chart, by the way. Um, charts up really high, and then it takes a lot longer for them to recover and stabilize back down. They stabilize just in time for another stressor to come, and then they have really high stress symptoms. So we all probably know someone like this. There's maybe someone in, in your group, your command, your spouse group, your FRG that does this. I'm not looking at anyone in particular. Uh, but you might know someone who, who experiences this. And there's a lot of reasons for that. One is maybe they've had trauma in their life. Maybe they've never learned healthy coping skills. Um, maybe they've just 
have a harder time managing or even understanding what those symptoms are. Like, I don't know that I'm actually showing quite a bit of stress symptoms. I'm just angry, mean, isolated all the time. Um, but right here is kind of what we want to strive for. So this is a person who has a stressor and then they have a low, lower stress symptoms and they recover much faster. So they stay in this green zone. You guys remember that from the operational stress continuum, green, yellow, orange, red, green is where your command wants you to be. When you notice yourself drifting up into the yellow and the orange, it's time to take stress management techniques, bring yourself back into that green. So this is someone here who is has a normal stressor that everyone else has, but they have lower stress symptoms and they stabilize a little bit quicker. So the question might be, how does that person do that? So Kelly McMonigle actually talks about, she has a book called The Upside of Stress. Um, and then she also has a TED talk that you can watch. It's about 20 minutes. So that's actually a good video to tag along with this is Kelly McGonigal um, stress. And she talks about how the mindset has a direct relationship to how you manage and handle stress. So for example, you can have stress symptoms that are so high that they can cause you to almost have a heart attack. And when they've studied people that have stress symptoms that relate to stress, to health problems, sometimes it is, it is mainly just a thought of how they handle their stress, what the mindset is with stress. Um, so do I think that the stress that I'm experiencing is going to help me, to better me, or is it going to kill me, or is it going to make my relationships horrible, or am I bad at stress? So the uh, mind relationship has a lot to deal with it. But I want to talk about how you can increase your optimum performance while still managing stress. Because by the way, the military is a uniquely stressful environment. I actually cannot take the stress out of the Navy. And I don't know anybody else who could. It's just the way it is. If, if there was no stress in the military, it would not be the military. I, don't, I just don't see that happening. So check on for the next, for part two of this video. And I'm going to talk about maintaining your performance while experiencing stress. See you in a bit.